Um, I don't know if I believe in um, design um, and that design get alive or so. I mean, it's it's more the, the user who who is alive, and and the the design is more a decor where we live in. But in the end, the life should come from the user, not from the design. Also here, I think it's it's the user who who makes it responsive. Um, I mean, I, it, it, it has always been in my work. Um, uh, I, I, for instance, my smoke series um, is really m about like, why do we always want to keep w what we have? And, and it, it's very, a very human thing to, uh, uh, to, to keep things, uh, to, to save your money on the bank and, 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 and uh, to, to, uh, to have a piece of furniture which you keep as it is and never change it. Um, well, in nature, everything always changes. It, it, that's life, you know. Um, it, things are changing. So um, it, it, it's for me the, 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 the most difficult uh, question. And if I could answer it right now, then I didn't need to design anything anymore. So it, it's, um, it, it's an interesting thing. And I answer the question through my works and not in this particular uh, interview. <laughs> I wish I could, could solve problems which really matter, but I think I only can solve really minor uh, problems. And I think design creates a lot of problems which really matter. Um, but I don't think, uh, I, yeah, I, I think uh, design can add something good, but really solving problems, then I should have found another profession, I think. I think we, we make a lot of designs every, uh, every year again. Uh, maybe we should find a solution how we can dissolve design um, whenever you don't use it anymore rather than making something for life because of, there seems to be an ongoing um, urge by people to, to, uh, to, to create new environments. So um, uh, maybe rather than, than trying to, to make something lasts for life, uh, it, it, it should, it should uh, it change itself or, or it should disappear once it's used, something like that. I, I like the, the, the current period in the, in the, the crisis, um, I like it actually much more than, than when it was such an overload of uh, new things. Um, so uh, I think uh, a crisis is, is very, it, it's a kind of a big cleaning up of uh, things and uh, I think it's a, it's a natural way of doing that. It, it, it's, it's a storm which blasts away everything which is, which is not, not necessary and, and the good core uh, stays. So I like a crisis. There are two um, uh, voices um, uh, uh, in, in myself uh, when, whenever I uh, make something. One is to, to, to keep what I have and, and to just to, um, yeah, well, uh, to, uh, uh, not, not, to, not to move forward um, um, anymore. It's a kind of a lazy voice which says like, well, it, it's okay like this and, 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 uh, and leave it. And the other one is more the passionate uh, voice which, which really wants to keep on, uh, on going. And I, and I must say, um, this, the, the older I get, the more the lazy voice is, is, is getting louder and, and the passionate voice is, uh, is almost getting too weak. And so he's, he's um, overshouting the other, uh, the other one. And I see that a lot in, in general, that, that um, designers or, or actually everybody um, has, a, has a moment in which, in which the, the real spectacular things don't happen anymore because of there are too many responsibilities, there are, um, there's a kind of a tiredness. And I think um, the, the, my goal is always to, to keep on running risks and to try new things to, to listen to the passionate voice rather than, than the, the lazy bastard.
uh, design is a very uh, accessible, understandable um, platform where a lot of things can happen. Um, and I think uh, desire, uh, designers should inspire uh, the world, make, uh, making um, uh, um, s since it's such a wide platform, which which many people have access uh, to. Um, we, uh, I think I think we can make something which uh, uh, which which makes you feel uh, which, which 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 triggers a kind of an energy in in all kinds of uh, people. So I yeah, kind of uh, yeah. Well, the, the word would be uh, inspirational. Uh, it, it's it's to to inspire to 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 give examples to 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 share thoughts um, to to move forward. How I try to live is is that the, everything is in a, in a harmony and and in a um, I'm never after I'm I'm never hungry for money or for prestige uh, I, I I I try to to go uh, as pure as possible in myself to make something and to make something together with people uh, where uh, people enjoy to make it people can. That's that's also something which you can do in a de in a design to make something with a lot of attention. Um, uh, especially the, the pieces I make myself as a designer are often handmade pieces uh, where where people um, enjoy making it and and after that um, enjoy presenting it and and selling it. And I, I try to to find in life as a designer I try to to find a harmony in that whole process. I can't really look forward. I always just do what I feel like doing at this moment. Um, uh, and, and then there are others who take their conclusions out of it and, and uh, predict the future. Um, uh, what I, how I see design at this moment and how I can imagine it will, uh, it will go forward is that it's becoming more and more um, a kind of a, a platform where everything can happen actually. Um, I'm, I'm sometimes trying to move towards um, theater kind of things or musical kind of things. Um, for, for, for me, it's, it has never been really a thing where you necessarily need to make a chair uh, to sit on or so. I mean, I see it just as a, as a free world where, where anything uh, can be done and, um, and I can imagine that will be more and more accepted uh, by the year 2030. Well, everybody, of course, has their own subjective uh, ways of calling something responsible. Um, I, I think I feel myself always very responsible um, in, in what I uh, make. Um, for me, the main responsible thing um, uh, is, is to, to get the best out of myself and to, to, to push it as far as I can. Um, I think um, that's, that's what I'm here for and, and maybe it's through design or maybe it's through some, something else, I don't know. But um, uh, I, uh, I, I would never do something for the money or uh, uh, that kind of things and um, uh, I, yeah, so, uh, 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 I sometimes I'm hesitant in, in using materials as a designer because of I'm wasting materials and, 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 and the, the world is, is, is already full with uh, things but I, yeah, still I think like no, if, if I really try to make things as beautiful as possible then I think it's, it's uh, good. I'm, that I'm sometimes also hesitant to make mass production because of then there are so many um, of of the design. While it's for me more about the expression of, of one piece, um, uh, there's always this responsible voice uh, in myself by every product I make. Like, is it is it still for a good reason why I make it? Does this product really need to be um, um, in the world? And as long as the answer is yes to that question, I. I give it a go and, and, and I give it all I have.